Hey guys, it's me here, here to do my review on Iron Man issue 64, and uh, yeah, I've been meaning to do this issue, and uh, <laughs> oh, oh boy, this issue was pretty something. So the comic book opens up where we see a little bit of a rehash of what Iron Man has been doing all over the world and pretty much it mentions the last issue and how Iron Man got defeated and the last moments to where oh yeah Happy Hogan saw Tony and Pepper having a kiss and then we go back to where Iron Man and Dr. Spectrum and they're blasting and they're punching and they're fucking <laughs> throwing each other around and it's just so goddamn good and epicness and I'm just like ah oh, man this shit was good this shit was awesome this was greatness and you go back to where Happy Hogan and Tony were at and they have a little bit of a fight and uh, then after that um a big, a gigantic monster shows up out of fucking nowhere, and Tony uh, has to go deal with the creature. Happy Hogan takes Pepper, and pretty much um, Iron Man suits up and flies down there, taking the battle outside, and pretty much uh, the creature fights with Iron Man. Iron Man's trying to do everything he can just to fucking stop the creature and trying to automatically uh, figure out what way to defeat the creature and he's blasting him. He's literally throwing everything but uh, granted he's making a massive mess all over the city but when situations get a whole lot worse, we see Dr. Spectrum and this sword that's taking um, the creature into a sword. I don't know. It's a weird fucking concept. Granted, this is the comics. Sometimes really do they don't explain what the hell is this. Um, anyway... Uh, Dr. Spectrum comes in and it ends on the note to where round two and oh my god I'm just like ah oh, so good so good so good I love Iron Man comic books and Iron Man books really just put a smile on my face and there are only very few books that do that now in today's comic books Iron Man of course spawn Transformers, Thor, Avengers, maybe sometimes Spider-Man, depending on who's writing him. But, uh, yeah. Overall, I'm going to give this sucker a solid 8 out of 10. Great book. And uh, stay tuned for issue 65. I'll see you guys later.